Hey, what's up, Gemini? We're going to get into your read here. Hope you guys are doing well and uh, just going to jump right into it, see what the messages are looking like for you. And um, of course, these are general readings. Go ahead and take what resonates, leave the rest out. See what's going on here for Gemini. What messages are coming in here for Gemini? And I did do your June reading already, so that is in the playlist. So be sure to check that out if you do have time. See, the star coming out is your first card. It is Aquarius energy here, Gemini. And happy birthday to you guys. Four of Swords. And what is the future energy looking like for Gemini? What is the future energy looking like for Gemini? A lot of healing going on with you guys, man. The world. Okay. So you're you're it's like you're preparing. You're preparing to have some sort of new beginning here. There's a process. I mean the star with the four of swords, those are two cards of healing. The star is also about wish fulfillment, you know, having faith that something's going to work out. So either you've um, kind of stepped into an energy where you're not really pushing so hard. You're kind of just letting things kind of unfold the way it needs to. Um, you know, if it's about relationships, work, looking for a job, whatever it is here, kind of feels like you've let the universe kind of take control in a way. You know, it's like you, you put a lot of work into something. And it's like you, you're kind of waiting for something to return towards you. OK, um, now the world card in the future is very nice because it does tell me here that there is some sort of new chapter a new beginning here that is starting for you now the bottom of the deck and overall energy we do have the five of wands so that's that's a little bit of a conflict okay so five of wands is uh it could be conflicted within yourself here could be thinking many things could be trying to juggle many things here um for others of you five of wands is dealing with other people at this time it's like you want some time alone you want some you want a break here gemini it's like you're not getting a break you're not getting um eight of swords right after that so you're not getting any sort of separation that you really want your energy really wants to rest your energy wants to recharge here okay um i don't know if it's a you know a, a past energy or a recent energy but right now this is present energy four swords that is trying to connect again you know reconnecting here um but i kind of feel like you're in this energy of um pulling back just a bit here okay so let's get deeper into this gemini and see what this is all about here for you like I said, very positive to have the world here is the future, but you are processing many things. You are healing past situations right now, whatever that may be. Let me see the star here for you, Gemini. What is the star? We have the Seven of Pentacles. So past energy with the Seven of Pentacles and the star, it's like you've um, you put a lot of hard work into something. You know, it's like... If it's a work situation, like you've been really trying to get things in order, really trying to make sure things are, you know, in line here to either, you know, get a raise, a promotion. If that's even something that wasn't even on your mind, then it's like you're looking that seven of pentacles over here is kind of looking at it and going, I put all this energy into it, but I'm not really getting the return that I've been wanting. Um, so maybe finances is what you're looking at, you know, or seven of seven of pentacles is planting seeds, right? So maybe you've been communicating to other people, trying to build some sort of network. Um, even if, if this was relationships, it's like you're not, it's making you tired, right, Gemini? It just feels, it feels very draining here, Gemini. So I don't know, you could be going through something here to where you put a lot of time and energy into something. And you're just like, you want to pull back from it. You just want to take a break. And it feels very um, like you want to step back and really, really uh, evaluate everything of what you've what you've done and what you want to kind of create in this new beginning or maybe even switch things up. You know, maybe you need to change things around here a lot in your mind here. All right, Gemini, let me see the star with the seven of pentacles. We have the eight of cups. So kind of confirming, Gemini, that you've um, you've walked away from a lot of things here that are not really filling up your cups here right eight of cups he's walking away from everything that's unfulfilling for him um you know the star here but still you're walking in this energy of having faith that things are still going to work out here four of cups energy too so this person's looking at three cups and, and putting a lot of time and energy into it but not getting that back right so emotionally it feels like you haven't been fulfilled in some way so i don't know it can be about, about relationships could go a lot of different ways here. But uh, let me see the Four of Swords for you, Gemini, because that is more of the present energy. We have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. A lot in your head here, looking into something here. Whatever you're looking into is bringing you some sort of new opportunity, a new beginning here. You get one more card with the Four of Swords and the Page of Swords. Yeah, the Sun. You Something, some sort of breakthrough. 
with that Gemini. That rest period, I don't know what you're doing with the rest period or something like that. Look at the Hermit underneath here to confirm in regards to a rest period where you're going within to see that star, you know? There's There's been something here, and the star is in your reading, so there is some sort of wish fulfillment. There is something here that you see, but it kind of changes on you. It's it's like what you've wanted in the past has is now changed to something else, you know, and it's better. You know, it's something here that feels good for you because we see the sun, and you're looking into it. You're doing some research. You're doing something in regards to some sort of new opportunity here, and you're finding it. So a lot of work being done here, Gemini. Very nice, whoever this resonates with. You're really taking charge to like make the changes around you because you don't like that five of wands. You're not dealing with any sort of jealousy, conflict, you know, um, you know, bickering with other people or like, you know, talking, gossiping, you know, things like that here. Um, so a few cards came out. All right. So we see the king of pentacles, the queen of wands here, and we do see the fool here. Let me just pull one card on the world. Because they, they just kind of came out. So the Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles with the Fool. So a lot of you guys could be starting this new chapter with somebody here. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. Eight of Swords coming out here. But also this new beginning is kind of holding you back here. I mean, there is a sense of needing to take a risk, needing to make some sort of choice or a decision here. I kind of see you see some sort of breakthrough. But the Queen of Wands with the King of Pentacles, the Fool card, is kind of saying... You know, you are presented with a new beginning, but the Eight of Swords is still looking at this. You, you're wanting to break free from something. And you, know, the, you know, what's coming to me now is this Eight of Swords kind of feels like you want to be free. You know, maybe in the past you felt very restricted. You felt like you've been controlled in some way. You know, again, it could be a work situation, relationship, whatever it is. I do feel like this new beginning with the World card is like this Eight of Swords. You break free from it. You kind of move away from it because we do have the Full card here ace of cups underneath here as well so high chance of like meeting someone new here gemini you know um or maybe you're already with someone and you're just kind of like making that choice to really move forward with this person anything else here for gemini that's the energy coming out here for you or any advice here for gemini but definitely some sort of new energy king of pentacles queen of wands with the fool it's like someone kind of you meet someone, it kind of, it just feels very, uh, a freeing type of connection that kind of moves forward, okay? Um, death card, transformation, endings and new beginnings. I feel like you're just making a big change in your life here, Gemini. Justice card, Libra energy, queen of pentacles underneath here as well. Let me get one more card. A lot of things coming into balance for you this month, Gemini. Death card is also, like I said, transformation. So a lot of growth happening in your energy. A lot of like that four swords really um that time like i said you taking some time out really reflected on think changes that you needed to make here and it brings some sort of balance in your life um you know if this wasn't romantic that king of pentacles queen of wands this is just you know it could be a boss figure it could be a new opportunity in regards to your finances with that king of wands um but you something comes is presented where it kind of lets you um choose to be free here okay Three of Cups, Celebration, Two of Wands underneath here. Um, you're moving to a different spot, Gemini. That's really what it feels like. Something is changing in your environment where you're moving from any sort of toxicity, negative people that are have been around you. And, and some sort of opportunity, a, a move here with the with the full card is moving you in a new a new place, you know? And celebration, you know, it's it's um coming together with friends, you know, things like that. All right. So big shift in your energy there let me just see if there's anything else coming out for gemini anything else that gemini can expect here in the month of june what can gemini expect in the month of june here the higher fonts taurus energy here and we have that king of pentacles there could be dealing with like some a mentor someone here that is guiding you in some way you know they could be it is the high priest right so this is someone that's very spiritual doesn't matter the sign it's just that this person is very knowledgeable you know we do have the nine of cups well wow, a lot of blessings coming in for you and the wheel of fortune look at that at bottom of the deck i see the eight of pentacles so a lot of hard work i feel like your finance is really going to kick up gemini i mean the wheel of fortune nine of cups with the higher font someone is guiding you towards some sort of success here either it's advice or someone that's like giving you an idea something like that here that really you know that sun is like some sort of enlightenment 
um, that wakes you up and it's like let's move forward something breaks you free that's what it feels like something breaks you free so Gemini that's what I got if it resonates helps in any way please do hit that like button and until next time we'll see you guys have a good one